Hello, my name is Chastity, and this is my Crossroads story. I was spiritually, emotionally, relationally, and physically broken. My story begins back in 2010. I was happily married to my college sweetheart, and shortly after we got married, he joined the military. I had my dream job as a second grade teacher, and I was on my way to getting my master's. Life was good for a while, but I was for sure not living the God life. Throughout college, he played football and had numerous injuries. At the beginning of his military career, he had been prescribed prescription painkillers, but I didn't see any issues for a very long time. Fast forward to 2012 and 2013. While my husband was going through the Special Forces Qualification course, he began to not be able to perform at work and was eventually kicked out of the course. I began to see my husband act weird. He would fall asleep sitting up, he had erratic spending issues, and I would catch him in lies all the time. Around this time, I had Mason in January of 2013. I finally came out of denial and realized that he had an addiction problem. Things went from bad to worse once I came home from the hospital with my son. He was never around, and I was married, but I was basically a single parent. He was lying to me about his whereabouts and stealing from me and family members all the time. He also became physically and emotionally abusive. Despite all of this, I didn't want to get a divorce and raise Mason alone. I wanted to do everything that I could to save my marriage. I didn't believe in divorce. However, in November of 2013, when Mason was only 10 years old, I had crystal clear evidence that my husband was not only an addict, but he was having an affair with a 20-year-old girl he just met. I packed up all of mine and Mason's things and left immediately. On top of that, on my son's first Christmas, the girl told me that she was pregnant. My husband had completely abandoned me and my son, not only physically and emotionally, but also financially. For the better part of a year, I struggled with putting my marriage back together, helping him overcome his addiction, and trying to fix everything. I even tried to forgive him for the affair. All the while, the lies continued, and his addiction went from painkillers to heroin. He eventually got kicked out of the Army and became even more out of control. On top of all of that, his family didn't believe me and blamed me for all of his issues. They didn't support me, my decisions, or Mason. They have continued to enable and support his addiction for over three years. But during this time, I found my faith in God. Jesus met me in my brokenness. Michaela Crump had been begging me to come to church. For um, I was her second grade teacher, and after she moved on from me, she came to me every single morning to invite me to church. For three years, I found excuse after excuse not to show up. Church was very scary for me. I didn't grow up going to church, and my husband at the time was a non-believer. I was flat out terrified of the uncertainty. Despite all of this and all the chaos that was going on in my life, I finally got strong and decided that it was time to take charge of my faith and get right with God. I credit Michaela's persistence and her true belief in God for me being here today. At, that t at the time I began coming to Crossroads, I began praying daily, and I began focusing my life on God and all the blessings he was providing for me, despite all the chaos going on in my everyday life. God started blessing me in ways that only I ever dreamed of. He gave me the strength to finally take me and my son out of the dangerous situation that I continued to put myself in. After I started coming to Crossroads, I never looked back. I left him and that part of my life in my past. In July of 2014, I had to file a restraining order due to domestic violence, drug use, and his stalking habits. I was scared, he was dangerous, and he was hanging out with some very dangerous people. I called 911 because he was trying to break into my house. Faith would have it that Chase, my now fiance, would be the supervising officer to answer this call. He came to my rescue that day, and he has been saving me ever since. I am different today because of my experiences. I truly believe that God's plan was for Chase to save me that day and lead me closer to God and provide a caring and, home and protective home for myself and my son. Mason does not know or remember his biological father at this point in his life. Unfortunately, he's been in and out of jail, rehab centers, and halfway houses. But we as a family continue to pray for his recovery. However, Chase is all of the dad that I could have ever hoped for for my son. I tr Chase loves him like his own and plans to legally adopt him as soon as the time is right. I truly believe that this is part of God's plan, and we are getting married next Saturday here at Crossroads on March 26th. I hope that through our marriage and our testimony of God's work that we can continue to disciple others. 
My name is Chastity, and I'm a follower of Christ. I'm not a perfect example, but I am a living one.